everyone uh, us stocks rose in yesterday's trading session adding to the market solid gains from a day earlier as investors wager that the new variant of the covid-19 virus won't pose a big threat to the economy as some initially feared uh, uh, on similar lines even asian shares has extended gains on uh, when in the morning session today now i would like to ask uh, technical guys to take it ahead yeah uh, thank you akansha uh, good morning all of you see yesterday we see uh, rebounds in uh, lower level in market but uh, nifty again trade be important uh, level uh, that is uh, 17150 and next important uh, resistance zone is 17370 and 400 in upper side overall view is cautious if nifty sustain to close above 17400 then we expect further momentum towards 17000 700 uh, if nifty fail to sustain this level to again we see the uh, downside important support zone for nifty is 17 17090 first and below that uh, next important support zone for nifty 16950 if nifty break this level then we again see the further selling pressure towards 70 16400 and 300 and downside so you can keep important uh, level for index upside 17400 in important for break if close and above then we expect further long uh, positive uh, momentum in market and below 17090 then we expect next uh, further important uh, support zone is 16950 uh, overall uh, bank nifty looks positive at current level uh, bank nifty also close important uh, resistance above important resistance level that is 36600 uh, next important resistance for bank nifty is 37000 and uh, downside uh, important support zone plays around 36300 36200 at downside so we can keep watch uh, in bank nifty already bank nifty trading near the 200 dma so we expect uh, bank nifty respect that uh, 200 dma and uh, trading above that important uh, zone that is uh, 35 uh, 700 below 300 uh, next important support zone for the bank nifty is 35 700 that is 200 dma if bank nifty close above 37 then we expect further positive momentum uh, towards uh, 37 400 300 in upper side uh, nifty finance also trading near the resistance zone and important resistance zone is 17900 um if break that level then next important resistance is 18000 uh, support place around uh, 17800 17770 at downside in stock specific uh, icici looks positive uh, at current level uh, upside uh, 750 754 is the next important target for icici 720 is the important support zone for icici bank second is tata steel looks positive after Uh, retracement tata still trading near the uh, support zone that is 1120 1130 at downside if tata still again break 1150 then we expect further momentum towards uh, 1200 and above and 12 1220 next level uh, third one is ongc ongc also trading important support zone uh, 140 is a important support zone for ongc If uh, ONGC one hundred and forty eight break again intraday basis, then we expect further momentum one hundred and fifty four, one hundred and forty, one hundred and fifty eight in upside. Uh, support place around one hundred and forty. Um, that is for technical basis. Uh, uh, derivative guy can carry. Yeah, thank you, Vikas. Uh, see on the derivative front, uh, looking at all the indicators, the best part is. uh the vix has decreased by 8% yesterday and uh, likely to decrease further today uh so definitely you know um, uh, nifty is uh, you know looking like it is going to bounce more um also 17200 strike uh, uh, pcr has gone about one or just about one uh, so that is a big positive uh, uh, we believe uh, nifty is likely to move up further uh it can go up towards 17400 17500 odd levels open interest has also increased in the last uh, two or three days uh, about the 11 odd uh, 11 uh, million shares all over um pcr has uh, come up from oversold zone to about one odd so uh, all in all the indicators are positive 
uh, we believe nifty is likely to uh, you know move up uh, going forward along with bank nifty some good short covering can come in in bank nifty uh, bank nifty above the 36000 levels uh, is a strong bet to go up to a 37500 38000 odd levels um, also uh, very importantly you know most of the stocks in bank nifty had seen very high open interest as we said in the expiry rollover uh, monthly analysis uh, at the start of the month uh, now uh, these stocks are likely to witness short covering action and uh, the short covering has started so the best bets at this point of time in the banking sector that we like are icici bank axis bank and hdfc bank so all these three had high open interest and now likely to cover shorts which can uh, really trigger the upside for these stocks so uh, that's it from my side i'd like to ask the fundamental team to take over please good morning um, so yesterday uh, life insurance uh, numbers have come out for the month of november uh, the uh, annualized premium equivalent uh, ap uh, of uh, total uh, uh, private players that is uh, the private industry as a whole grew by 31% year on year um, so the high growth uh, continues uh among companies uh, the best performers was uh, bajaj alliance uh, with 74% growth followed by sbi life with 51% growth uh max uh, grew in line with industry at 36% uh, whereas uh, hdfc continued to remain a laggard uh, at uh, 8% growth and uh, icici potential grew by 13% so we have seen that uh, among uh, all these companies uh, sbi life has consistently been uh, growing at uh, a high rate uh, since last few months and that is reflecting in the stock price as well so we feel that in the short term uh, sbi life can continue to outperform uh, whereas in the long term we are bullish on uh, all four listed companies uh, that's it from my side thank you uh ka anybody from the fundamental side uh, has uh, anything to add no ji han yeah okay uh, so we'll close the call here uh, thank you very much uh, have a good day subscribe to our youtube channel for in depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates